Godzilla vs. Barkley. Read and awe as Godzilla battles Charles Barkley in a cataclysmic game of hoops, the likes of which has never before been witnessed by man. Off the coast of California. How can this be? We're in the middle of a high pressure zone. I'm trying to raise the American Coast Guard. Something is interfering with our transmissions. Make sure the cargo is secured and all the men are in their life jackets. Captain, when my father was a young man in Osaka, he saw Godzilla. Silence. It's bad luck to even mention his name. We're modern men. We do not believe in the old legends. I'm sorry to disagree with you, Captain, but sonar shows something large in the water. It's rising. It's coming up right under us. Blup. Bloop. Hurry up, Gramps. The man may be gone by the time we get there. I'm walking as fast as I can, Matthew. I wish I were taller. You see anything? Some kind of crowd up ahead. And they got one of those cameras on a crane. Matthew, come back here. I'll meet you up ahead, Gramps. Charles Barkley back there? Beat it, kid. We're on a shoot. You gotta let me in, man. I'm Barkley's biggest fan. Get in line, kid. I've come all the way from Brisbane. I am Sir Charles' biggest fan. I am. I'm an important Hollywood producer, and I am Barkley's biggest fan. He didn't know who Barkley was until he met me. Okay, stay back. Please go around. No, I gotta see Charles. I gotta. Get lost, kid. You wanna see the man buy a ticket to a game? Don't make me run you in. For what? Being Barkley's biggest fan? So how'd it go? You get to talk to him? Oh, they wouldn't let me near him, Gramps. They acted like I was John Hinckley or something. Well now, Matthew, when you get to be as big as Barkley, you have to take precautions. You'll be that big someday. Doing what? I don't know. Maybe you'll be a great warrior like Barkley. I might have something here in my pocket that could help you. This magic silver dollar my grandpa gave me when I was your age. It has magical properties. Oh yeah? What's it ever done for you? Boy, I once pitched a no-hitter against New York. Now I ain't saying I didn't have the ability. You pitched a no-hitter against the Yankees? No, it was the New York elite. Point is that their Morgan is special. And so are you. So I give it to you. Thanks, Gramps. What's this? Another commercial? Looks like a drowning victim. Call an ambulance! Don't worry, mister. An ambulance is on the way. Zilla. Huh? Stand back, kid. Give him some room. He's trying to say something. What is it, mister? Godzilla is coming. Warn the authorities. Evacuate the coast. Godzilla? He must be in shock. No, man. Don't you know who Godzilla is? Never heard of him. He's a monster. I guess he's the biggest monster of all time. They call him the king of the monsters. What are you? King of the liars? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Look out there. Strong. Godzilla. Matthew, come on. Get off the beach. But Gramps, whomp. Run! But Gramps, the magic silver dollar, I can use it to stop Godzilla. Matthew, you aren't ready to take on Godzilla. This is the police. Clear the beach. Do not panic. Please evacuate in an orderly manner. Not me, Gramps. Barkley. Now wait a minute, Matthew. Charles Barkley is Earth's greatest warrior. Only he can stop Godzilla. Aye! Out of my way! They're still here! Scrum! Roar. Man, those aren't gonna stop that old monster. Guess they got to learn the hard way. Boom, womp, wham, whoosh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Shah, boom. Barkley's still here, but he's leaving. Got to see him now. Hey, Charles, wait a minute. I thought I heard a kid call my name. Got to leave now, Mr. Barkley. There's a monster down at the beach. Y you're 
Do at the Optimist Club at noon. You've nothing to gain here. Hey! Charles, I gotta talk to you, man. Stop that kid! Nice entrance, kid. What's up? We don't have time for this, Mr. Barkley. We're due at the Optimist Club, Mr. Barkley. What you want, kid? You gotta stop Godzilla. Take this dollar. There's a time and a place for this, Mr. Barkley. I don't have to stop that ugly monster, and I don't want your dollar. You want to give me a dollar? Buy a ticket to the game. But Charles, only you can stop Godzilla because you're Earth's greatest warrior. Hmm, you may have a point there. What's your name, kid? Matt. We have to leave now, Mr. Barkley. You know what? You're fired. What? You heard me. Go on. Take a hike. What if you say something that offends someone, like a little old lady in Vermont? You guys, tell her to write me, okay? Now give us some space. Okay, what makes you think I could stop Godzilla, even if I wanted to? It's an ancient legend my grandpa told me. All you need is the magic silver dollar, which I got right here. Let me see that thing. Hmm. In 1889, Morgan silver dollar, in fine condition. Maybe you got to put it in your mouth or something. You don't put strange money in your mouth. You don't know where it's been. Wait, there's a hoop. Pull in there, Charles. I want to show you some moves. You want to show me? How tall are you? Four, ten? Just like a little shotgun. Tell you what, I'll play you for this silver dollar. You'll play me? That's right. You don't care about what Godzilla does to the city. I guess I gotta teach you a lesson. Got a ball right here, how do you wanna do this? One on one, we go to 15. You spot me 13, cause you're a little taller. You wanna take it out? Heck no. We gotta flip for it, give me that silver dollar. Call it, heads. Flip, dink. Man, I don't believe it, it landed on the edge. You, toss it Charles. Okay, I'll give it a whirl. What the? Whoa! Yeah, Matt, I see what you mean. Now I feel like playing some hoops. So far, there's been no loss of life, but now the monster is in the financial district. The governor's hands are tied. Any force sufficient to destroy the monster would result in massive loss of life. This is Janet Planet reporting live from the KQED Newscopter. We've just been informed by the Japanese Ministry of Defense that the monster's name is Godzilla. Japan is sending a special team to help fight Godzilla, but it may already be too late. Wait a minute, something's happening. Hey! Hey you, sorry suitcase looking sucker. I'm talking to you. This is unbelievable. It's Charles Barkley, and he's 300 feet tall. He's addressing Godzilla. I'm going to put him on the air. Charles, I'm Janet Planet with the KQED News. What are you doing? I'm going to try to lead the monster out of the city. How do you plan to do that? I'm going to challenge him to some one-on-one. -on -one. It's a little known fact that Godzilla is a sucker for b-ball. Good luck, Charles Barkley. The city's hopes ride with you. How about it, suitcase skin? You up for a game? Bonk. Do you ever hear of mouthwash? Didn't think so. Whoosh. Let's go. I know a place in the valley. Here we are, guy. There's our basket, the old shuttle scaffold. We'll play to 15, and just to show you what a nice guy I am, I'm gonna let you have the ball. Hang a sec, big guy. Wrench. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Now it's regulation. Groof. Give me your best game, and if you breathe on me, I'm going to take it personal. Fup, fup, fup. We see them. Charles and Godzilla are going at it at Scarf Air Force Base. Hurry, Grandpa, I can see them. I see them too. Don't know why we got to be rushing towards danger. Seems to me we should go the other way. I got Charles this gig. I'm like his manager now. Boy, he doesn't even know your name. Scrong. Flap. Ow. Uh-huh, okay. Sure never played in the NBA, cause that was a major league hit. Arf. But now Sir Charles has the ball. Show you how we do it in the West. Arf. 
Wooey! I need to get you a deodorant endorsement. In your face, Godzilla. Excuse my elbow, good looking, but I got an appointment. Wrong. Thwam. Whoop, there it is. He's doing it, Grandpa. Barkley's beating Godzilla. He hasn't won yet, Matt. That big old monster's getting mad. Coming at ya. Whoosh. Yuck. What's the matter with you? You, you gonna trash the ball when the game doesn't go your way? Huh? You got some moves, little work. You could maybe get a tryout with the Bulls, one of those second-rate teams. You don't need to be toasting the opposition. Where's your sense of honor? Come here, let me talk to you. You just need the right attitude and the right equipment. I know some people could make you some shoes. Huh? Soon, in a remote canyon in Utah, Okay, you got your 3,000 EEE sneakers. You got your hoop. I want you to do one million layups. I'll be checking up on you. All right, let's get busy. See you in about 100 years. Godzilla got busy. What will you do in the city, Charles? Gotta see a boy about a buck. Do not, do two, do not, do two, not do. You don't know, Barkley, and you can't swish that ball. I do, and I can. Just forget about Barkley. I'll bet a buck you can't swish that basket. I don't have a buck. Yo, Matthew. Charles. Wow. I owe you a dollar. There it is. Swish. Yes. Ads. More ads. So that was... Godzilla vs. Barkley, published by Dark Horse Comics, script by Mike Barron, Alan Smithy did the plot, pencils by Jeff Butler, inks by Keith Akins, letters by Steve Dutrow, colors by James Sinclair, cover painting by Dave Dorman, book design by Scott Tice, and edited by Edward Martin III. Special thanks to Kathy... Carlisle, Mike Klein, Mark R. Perman, Henry Saperstein, and Mark Thomashow. Hopefully you guys didn't mind my sound effects. Have a good day.